We we have to. Yeah, we we have to have the Halo Listen talk. We do, we oh just... fuck! All right, what's up? <laughs> We're here for the clips, Ben. <laughs> uh, so no, but... what's the Halo talk? No, but look, let's go back to it's uh, terrible now. No, I'm you know, Gigolo <laughs> Assassin Four Gamer Tag Days. Wow, and, and how do you even know that? Hey, it's my, it's my, it's my job to know that. Nobody That's, knows yeah. how he knows his stuff. It's Kerry, honestly. Like, yeah. Wow. Fortunately, he's on my side. I would be terrified Holy if he shit. started hating. But me. let's 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 go back. Let's go back to that time. You know, like early, early. You know, the early video game days and the, wow. the early Halo. Like, talk talk to us about specifically. I guess your your love for Halo, um, as it was in the beginning. And we'll we'll talk about the the present. I'm sure. But you know, what what um obviously the band was centered around halo and stuff too like yeah. clearly a big halo fan right so what uh what was it about halo um i don't know i mean i guess it's really the first video game that had any sort of like actual emotional impact on me i guess uh, i got combat evolved when i was like six on xbox and it i could not feel good by yeah the way. absolutely still good uh I couldn't beat the second level. I, I think I wasted my entire summer vacation trying to beat the second <laughs> level, uh, which uh, I'm assuming you've played the game. So uh, yep. that part where you turn on the bridge and drive the yes. Warthog over, yes. I was trying to <laughs> ramp over with the Warthog for like two months straight. <laughs> to be fair, um, I got stuck there too for a while. Really? Like five, yes. <laughs> oh, yes. Like, so, cause it's a weird place. It's a weird, like it's on yeah, the side and everything. I, it's I get not it. obvious. Nope. Uh, so my cousin came over and showed me that. And I was just like dumbfounded. Like, wow, I just wasted so much time. Uh, so yep. it took me like the rest of the year to beat it. And it, it just, uh, I mean, I was young. I didn't really have any sort of clue what to expect in that game. So like when the flood came about, I was just kind of mind blown and mm. I was in love with the whole game. And my brother and I played the multiplayer like all the time, uh, like rockets on the map wizard or, you know, shotties on whatever. And uh, Halo 2 just continued blow my, Another blew my masterpiece. mind. masterpiece. Yep. Yeah, that's like uh, for single player campaigns. That's like my favorite video game. Uh, Incredible. I I can literally like recite the entire game's dialogue like basically dude um, like do you remember the first time you play like the the oh, time yeah. when because in, in the first one you visit all the the first one is amazing you visit you, you see so many different you know elements and stuff but like in the second one being in the city with like yeah. the scarabs like the first time i was there like my mind was like when the hunters are breaking the doors and everything yeah. like, like yep. i was Some terrified yep. yeah. <laughs> so that part uh i love yeah. that part but really like the covenant holy city is what really blew my mind i was like wait a second we're in like where the aliens live right now as a little kid uh so uh in third or fourth grade uh i think my mom got me the first three books the fall of reach the flood and first strike and i read those and i ended up buying the other books up until pretty much when i was like 18 i think so i had i think around like 15 or 20 of them at that time and uh i was i mean i've read all of them several times at that point so uh the reason shadow of intent is halo themed is simply because uh we weren't taking it seriously we didn't plan to become a band and some of the orchestral stuff that he had written kind of threw me back to all that and uh i couldn't really think of anything else to write about at the time it's it's it, all he knew yeah it just yeah. made sense yeah, it's just like I was very used to Burning Beneath being like very kind of brutal death metal oriented, whereas this was very not like that. I didn't feel like I could write songs about like, you know, fucking murdering people over this like beautiful mm -hmm. melodic song. Uh, <laughs> so I don't know. The first thing I thought of was like, hey, let's do a video game. And it was between Halo and Gears of War and Doom. All and good choices. Yeah, I ended up just going with Halo because I could write the most about it. Honestly, there's definitely more lore within Halo to pull from than yeah. any of those other games, too. So exactly. in the long run, that probably panned out a little better, too. <laughs> yeah, um, I didn't expect to write a whole second album about that Reclaimer. That was mm -hmm. kind of like, a, oh, cool. People like Primordial. Let's do it again. 
Uh, and then after that, I was like, all right, you know, this was fun. Uh, I want to do something else now. I want to do something yeah. kind of more serious. So, Dude, uh, I, so I got to I, I need to ask you, though. Um, like, cause personally, when I think about Halo, I, you know, one, two, three, I don't know if you played Halo three during the prime era, like 2008, 2009 on yeah. Xbox 360, it was seven. I was there. Yeah. 2007. Yeah. Cause the release went to it was, mm -hmm. I think for me, my favorite era of online gaming ever, Absolutely. it was the best, like Halo three had the biggest, by far the biggest amount of players and stuff you yep. could. It was absolutely insane. I always kind of tried to find that again or whatever, or that, that feeling, it, it, it was yeah. never there. I don't know, for you. I have but only like, found that in one other game. Uh, and honestly, was? I like it even more than Halo. What? Yeah. You I've gotta had, hit us with it. What, what's this yes. game? <laughs> it's a game called Arma 3 by this Czech developer. And it's kind of like a, like extreme milsim shooter game uh like extreme uh and i play with a ton of mods so me and my friends kind of like you can play it as like a fps and rts at the same time so we're like simulating which is what the game is designed for basically uh tactical simulations we're simulating like full-blown like twenty thousand troops to both sides like conventional warfare where there's like artillery involved and like planes and like the whole fucking nine yards and these games will go on for like 70 days straight like we'll like log back in and it'll still be going and uh it's That's insane. it's uncomparable to any other video game i've ever played in my life and it is the scariest and most fun game that I've ever stressful, come across. Probably a little bit. Incredibly stressful. Yeah, um, okay. And it gave me, you have to play it like you know what you're doing. Uh, like if you don't, I had to get taught basically by my friends who are actual combat vets how to play that game. I was wow. like, I'm getting just wrecked in this game. Like, please help <laughs> me. And he, they played with me and they kind of taught me uh, a bit of the U.S. military doctrine, and after they did that, I had a ton of fun in that game. Uh, and we would just do crazy stuff that I dreamt about doing in video games as a kid, basically. Um, I'm guessing so yeah. the learning curve is pretty pretty big because, like, I've played some yeah. CS:GO and stuff like that. I'm guessing you need to manage like your recoil, <laughs> learn the guns and everything, how it works and stuff like that. Like, I'm it's... guessing there's kind of a big curve. To, it's to, not to at be all good. what you would expect. It's it's okay. so much closer to real life combat than it is video game combat. Okay. Um, and it's kind of it can go from like super slow pace, like you're shooting at dudes 900 yards away, and like you're just lobbing bullets at each other, basically, and just being like, "Hey, fuck you," um, and they're returning the favor. And then all of a sudden, it goes to like from zero to a hundred because now there's dudes sneaking up behind you, and you're in close proximity and there's no respawns and this that and the other thing and there's uh the, the stakes are so much higher in that game than in other ones so you really feel like the stress of the situation plus you've got mods for like real sounds with real acoustics and real everything so it's like so shocking to your senses sometimes when you run into situations like that that i just hide in the game <laughs> imagine if they would have done that but like with halo elites <laughs> and odsts type thing in a big oh, war yeah. like i mean it, it, it would have been crazy no yep. I, I was just i was just curious and I, I saw some videos of arma and my first thought was like it, it's extremely realistic and 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 cool like every videos i've seen i was i was kind oh, of every, blown away everyone i've heard talk about arma like if you're into it you're into it yeah <laughs> yeah I, I have like over five thousand hours in that game i think okay um and yeah like the base game is pretty real but me and my friends have like a hundred mods loaded every time we play <laughs> that just like really pushes the pedal all the way down to the floor and that sort of thing like we have to like eat drink pee like everything in the game uh and we'll kind of laugh at each other because you have to pee and like we'll be like dicks to each other and be like, don't pee here, man, go pee over there. <laughs> and like some drone will just happen to fly by right at the exact second he's going to pee. And then all of a sudden there's just rockets raining around us out of nowhere. Um, oh, it's, wow. it's a very fun game and it's never, 
you never experience the same thing twice. That's awesome though. That's it's yeah. like really replayable basically. Yeah. Yeah. Like, like I said, I have over 5,000 hours in that game and I've never had like a, a even close to being a similar, I guess, kind of encounter or oh, wow. mission or whatever. That's crazy. That's absolutely <laughs> wild. Um, and, and not to go back to, to, to Halo, but I have another question before ending, uh, ending it. But um, OK, so how most of Halo fan feels and how I certainly feel is, you know, Halo 1, absolute masterpiece, 2, masterpiece, yep. 3, masterpiece. Yep. Reach, I loved it a lot. Seriously, like I really enjoyed it. It was a bit different, but like to, to be your own Spartan, to be kind of in this retro, pre-war, pre-equipment, yeah. to me was absolutely insane. I love Reach, the design, everything. Um, ODST was awesome, but they really lost me at Halo 4 because I felt like the, the entire world was made out of plastic somehow. I yeah. don't know how they did it, but it stopped feeling real, but they yeah. had more technology to do it. Never understood that part. Um, yep. and they changed most of the armors. I was like, what is that? Yeah, I wasn't a fan. Yeah, I was just curious to see where it like, did you have like kind of the same time period disconnection with, with Halo? Was it around like Halo 4 or that you were like, okay, I think. Yeah. Okay. So basically Halo 4, uh, yeah, I started thinking that. And then Halo 5 came out. And that was just the most disappointing abomination. That's the worst thing I've seen. Like, I've, yeah. Terrible. I, terrible. I beat that game before like 4 o'clock even turned around in the morning. I got it at midnight. And before 4 o'clock, I was done. I remember sitting there in my chair and I just sighed and uninstalled it. Turned off the Xbox, <laughs> went to bed. I'm like, wow, what a fucking waste of time. You're you're uh, better you're better than me. I <laughs> I saw like the trailer with the other character and I'm like, yeah, I'm not playing. I didn't yeah, even wise. I didn't even try. When I see the other dude that I never remember his name, like Lucky, I think like Commend or something. The the other dude that you get to play even more than Master Chief. Somehow they thought it was a good idea. Um, yeah, stupid. The, there's a scene that it's impossible for me not to laugh, but they're like fighting, throwing yeah. punches. And, and it's I like was like, <laughs> I was like, like you read the books, right? Master Chief is this overpower, incredible, like yeah. basically the other dude would have been dead within seconds, technically, like speaking it, it, yeah. in a fight. I mean, so. he's a, he was what I'm going to get all nerdy on y'all here. He was like in what Spartan four kit, which they, they're not nearly as indoctrinated or genetically enhanced or it's not close know, in that it's yeah not so it just was ridiculous that that was even a thing at all yeah and they made it like <laughs> if it makes sense like in the it was full like it was a moment in the story and they were like fighting and i'm like well no i don't that's not how it goes and if yeah. you look at what they did with like i know a lot of people love the multiplayer because like it was a bit faster and stuff like that which i personally you know i was like what is even that like the whole point of halo that was cool is how it was and they lost yeah. it but the armors dude i was like one of my favorite thing in halo was like the spartan armors and everything in reach it was freaking amazing in halo 3 the customization it was on yeah. top and they released five and i was like I need to know who chose the design. Like, was it was this like a decision, guys? It needs to look bad. This looks too good. Ruin this one. Like, I didn't. I really didn't. That's get it. honestly how I feel about Call of Duty now as well. That game uh, series. Yeah, <laughs> like, I stopped playing Call of Duty when Black Ops One came out. Mm -hmm. uh, you didn't like Black Ops One? Nope. I hated wow. it. Wow. I yeah, but, hated but it's it. more yeah. You're you're more into the the, the realistic. more realistic, yes. like the more yeah. type but, stuff. The more, but at the same time, I'd been playing Call of Duty since the first one was out on PC. Yeah. Okay. In like 2003, I and then it. the United Offensive expansion. So like, that's what that's oh, the Call it. of Duty I liked. Yeah, uh, and just, Black it just Ops became, came out, and yeah, it just, just that game thing. just got smaller and smaller and smaller every new release that came out. And then finally, Black Ops, I was like, nope, that's it. I can't do this anymore. Oh, came really? Out. Okay, for me, Black Ops was <laughs> my kind of like, I even played Black Ops 2. They, it was a bit too futuristic with too, too many features, but I still enjoyed it. But like, to for me, Modern Warfare 2 and Black Ops 1, like, I both liked it. But I can see your perspective. If you were playing on PC before that, there's a 
lot of people who were like they they, yeah. they moved away. Yeah, but it's another game at that point. It's like a it's, whole yeah, completely. Yeah, to do it was it, yeah. honestly to Battlefield back then. Then yeah. what they were putting out at that time. Yeah. Uh, so but, yeah, that's that's what I missed. And I mean, I did love Modern Warfare too. I thought it was great. But yeah. like since Black Ops has come out, I feel like they've done the same thing Halo's been doing, where it's just everything starting to look ridiculous and like there's just all that. these crazy random colors and like crazy random stuff and like people <laughs> are dude, running around on fire and shit and it's like dude like what is going on 